What's going on, poor fans? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, we're going to do a little bit of a different video. We're going to recall the 2004 Premiership against Brisbane. Uh, since we're playing Brisbane this week at home at Adelaide Oval, hopefully see you there. Um, yeah, let's let's go through some of the moments, some of my favourite moments from the Premiership 13 years ago. So with this uh, Premiership recall, we're going to do the top five moments from the game. In general, the whole game was just one big glorious moment. But there were five moments that stood out for me, and these. Might change for some people, that's fine. Don't really care, because the whole game in general just one great glorious moment that I can actually remember. So, there's probably moments I've probably forgotten while brainstorming these. So, without further ado, let's just get right into these. Number five on the list of the pairs. Glorious moments from the AFL Premiership of 2004 was the opening goal. Josh Carr's fantastic breakaway. Well, it wasn't so much of a breakaway. He just took the ball away from the Brisbane defender. I think it was one of the Scott brothers that he took it away from, if I remember correctly. Um, he just took the ball away, kicked it from about 40, and the absolute... And the absolute... The whole crowd went absolutely mental. Um, and I remember from where I was... Got so excited, I was so pumped. It was just one of the great. It was it was the first highlight of the game and first goal kicked in our grand final by a Port Adelaide player was Josh Carr, and the moment was just surreal. White the target, Treadray stays down. Black, he was brilliant last year, but Corns just as desperate and determined. The Lions win the day though. Lappin left it behind. Carr. For the first one of the afternoon, Josh Carr! Four of the big moments in the AFL Premiership of 2004. I'm, I don't know, I, it's, I'm thinking... Treaders goal from the pocket, 45 out. His accuracy has always been questionable. Probably is the Port Adelaide best AFL player in the history, by far, from my opinion. You can all debate that yourselves. But, this, this goal was amazing. 45 out, or 40 out, toughest of angles, and he put it through. There was a lot of pressure on him. He captaining the side, first grand final, a lot of pressure going into the game. And Treaders stood up. And he kicked an absolute ripper from the boundary. And you could just have, you had that sense of, it was our day to lose, essentially. Tredis, he set the mark, and he kicked a wonderful goal, and he just set the standard. He didn't do a lot in the day. He kicked one goal, two, few possessions, but he just, you know, worked so hard. And he just, he's off the ball work, he's shepherding, his pressure, he's just... His person, his person, his uh, his presence is the word I was looking for. It was just mesmerising and you just had to take it in and his goal was just absolutely superb and it was one of my highlights of the day, for sure. And they are just waiting for the lead of Treadray. And he goes now, but he'll have two against him, but it's a perfectly weighted kick from Peter Burgoyne. to kick it to a player who leads wide to the boundary line. And Warren Treadray with 80 goals to his credit. 3.3 goals per match. Just 1.5 per match in finals. That is close. He's done it. And Port have kicked to a very handy lead. Up to on the middle, Brown and Pike are in there. Oh, look at this, Carr. they're swinging him. Jonathan Brown giving it to Josh Carr. Corns. Jonathan Brown just gone with a big right hook across it's the on. top. It's on, it's on. Jonathan Brown. Brown has just nailed Carr with the biggest right hook from downtown. Carr was throwing him too, don't worry about that. Three of the pairs of Premiership moments. So it'll have to be the fight. A little bit left of centre for some people. Could have even been number five and I just put all the greatest port moments in. But the fight, come on. 
If you didn't love that moment in the grand final, having a bit of a scuffle in the middle there, you also had, uh, at the beginning of the game, um, Damien Hardwick getting right in the face of uh, a few of the Brisbane players, right in the middle there, getting pushed over. It was already on before the ball was bounced. But the main fight which happened in the first quarter, meanwhile, while Treaders was kicking that goal, or was it Thurston's? No, Thurston's missed, I think. Uh, Treaders' goal came after that. But, uh, yeah, Jonathan Brown, Josh Carr, Kane Corn started all with Simon Black. Um, and Jonathan Brown gave him a little bit of a left-right good night. Um, didn't really knock him out, but, you know, I just wanted to say that. But, uh, yeah, a bit of a left-right good night. He just, oh, what a punch it was. I think he got, like, six weeks or something suspension for the next year, which was uh, back in the day. Quite a easy, well, probably, that was the hard suspension. If that happened today, my God, Jonathan Brown wouldn't play for two years. You don't see that anymore, and the jumper punches were incredible. But that's another topic to speak about. This is the Premiership. So the fight was amazing, um, short-lived for sure, but God, it was good to see some rough and tough, bit of punches, you know, throughout the day, it's just spot fires everywhere. There was another fight. Actually, I might make this fight, because there was another one, and that was the old Alistair Lynch and Darrell Wakelin in the goal square. Basically, Darrell Wakelin was the punching bag, and he wasn't being hit because Alistair Lynch couldn't throw a punch for his life because he couldn't hit him. He just kept missing. And then he got a few good ones. Um, but yeah. That, uh, story business, eh, really? They were just gasping for air. Meanwhile, Port were absolutely dominating. And Brisbane fans may watch this and think, what the hell is this guy on about? Well, this is it. Oh, Lynch. Boxing on with Wakeland now. Watch this. It's going to develop. 2-2, two, two, 14 lines. 3-4, 2-2, oh! Swinging left and right. And he's and amazing. Is there. It's a world championship fight. This is extraordinary. Lynch is just swearing. Lynch just doesn't know what to do. Oh, it's oh, world wrestling. Look at this. Lynch. Let's get a bit serious now. We're getting into the deeper part of the top five. This is the number two. Uh, the Pairs Premiership moments. Just love that title. Um... Basically, it was the last five minutes in the third quarter, which set the game apart. The whole of the third quarter was goal for goal. Brisbane will get two. Uh, Port will back it up with two. One, one. And then there was five minutes to go. We kicked four goals in the last five minutes. Um, I think it was... What was it? Three in the last four. Two goals to Gavin Wang and then one goal to Sean Burgoyne within the space of five minutes. Set the game apart. Put us 18 points in front. Brisbane had no answer. We went into the final quarter with a buffer. And Gavin Wanganeen put on a show in the last quarter and kicking two more straight after the break, uh, which basically set the game apart from the rest. But it was the third quarter, that moment, those last five minutes, um, there was those moments which really set the game apart. And the three goals by... Uh, Sean Bergon and obviously the two to Gavin Wanganeen set the uh, set the standard. Our hunt for the ball, our uh, speed and our pace. Stewie Jew had some moments in there. Josh Marnie was having, um, I think he slapped forward, which got the ball and set up a goal. Um, there was a few other moments in there as well, but just the hard ball gets that we were doing. Uh, everything right was setting the stage, uh, setting the standard for... Uh, on, on uh, Setting the standard on the biggest stage. Wow, it took me 10 minutes to get that out. Port Adelaide took the game apart in, in just 5 minutes. And they showed that well, for that year, they were premiership winners. Port with numbers. Pickett. Good delivery. Great kick by Pickett. And Wanganeen will line them up. And what about the Josh Marty? And smart play by Byron to square it up. Wanganeen for the lead. Port Adelaide are in front in the grand final. And Black, who are both seriously feel, feeling the pinch at the moment. We'll get back to Christie in a moment as the ball thrown in in the pocket. Lovely tap. Stuart Duke couldn't do it. Burger can. Don't you love it when a player comes together? They don't get it. 
Peter Burgoyne, and up and under. Jude knocking it on, collecting. Marnie having a very good quarter. Will it carry over the top for Wanganeen to put the three goals in front? All right, number one, the single greatest moment on September 25th, 2004. Port Adelaide versus Brisbane at the MCG in front of, what was it, 78,000, 79,000 people. Um, very excited Port fans, disappointed Brisbane fans. But the single greatest moment from this day was lifting the cup. How could you not love that moment? Treaders screaming... What my intro is, too. Tread is screaming. Mark Williams telling Alan Scott, you're wrong. That whole ceremony was just heartbreaking. And when I say heartbreaking, heartbreaks for joy. It was just pure emotion. The players bringing their kids up. The, just that whole moment where there's 22 players and Choco and Treaders lifting that cup. You could not have a better moment from our club. I mean, sure, I wasn't alive. I don't know. Um, I haven't witnessed the history of the whole, you know, 147 years. But for me, that, that moment right there is about as emotional and as bad as, you know, pure joy you bring. You watch the DVD, you watch the game over and over, and you'll pick out that, that moment lifting that cup. It brings a tear to your eye. That's how good, that's how much you love the club because of that moment. And 2004 was a fantastic year for us. But that moment stands out for me. And I could not have asked for a better, better moment in a grand final. An outpouring of emotion from Mark Williams. He's the proudest man in the land tonight. Look at that. said he felt that his late father and his late brother and his mother who recently had heart surgery were with him today. Premiership Cup to the captain Warren Treadray and the coach Mark Williams.